Löscheinheit und Rettungseinheit. Mit der Rettungseinheit können wir einen Shuttlebetrieb machen. Also das heisst, wir können Leute aus einem Gefahrenbereich herausbringen. But even this system has limitations. In the most intense heat, above a thousand degrees centigrade, there is little even the most rapid response team can do. Und dort ist das Limit ganz sicher, Hauptaugenmerk auf den Mensch. Was kann der Feuerwehr, Mann oder Frau, was können sie noch schaffen? Können sie noch schaffen oder gar nicht mehr? Und dort ist die Limite. Dort äh, muss man auch können, den Mut haben sagen, es ist nicht mehr bekämpfbar und der Rückzug nehmen. In Turkey, the Marmaray project has taken the lessons from Mont Blanc to the extreme. Although this tunnel will be relatively short, just 1.5 kilometers between the stations on either side of the Bosphorus, its ventilation system will be the most powerful in the world. And this is where they're going to put it. The Sirkeji Deep Station. This massive ventilation chamber is only a small part of the huge station complex under construction. Chief engineer Melir Babur is in charge of the design of the ventilation systems. Okay, we are at the best ventilation shaft of uh, Sirkeji station. The total shaft length is around 200 feet. As always, the key to any ventilation system is to have control over the smoke in the tunnel. And we want the smoke to move in a certain direction so we can have the passengers evacuate in the other direction. This is the main purpose, okay? As in Loschberg, there will be ventilation plants at each end of the tunnel, one in Europe, the other in Asia, with one set of fans sucking air out, the other pushing it through. The lessons of the Mont Blanc disaster were swiftly learnt and rapidly implemented. But despite this, only two years later, another Alpine tunnel disaster was to horrify Europe. The Gotthard Road Tunnel connects Switzerland and Italy. When it opened in 1980, unlike the Mont Blanc Road Tunnel, the Gotthard Tunnel was already equipped with a state-of-the-art fire detection and evacuation system and was considered the safest in Europe. But refuge cells constructed every 250 meters of its 16.4 kilometer length and an advanced tunnel ventilation system weren't enough to prevent the tragedy to come. On October the 24th, 2001, two lorries traveling in opposite directions collided a kilometer and a half from the Italian entrance. A ruptured fuel tank immediately ignited. Vehicles traveling in both directions on either side ground to a halt. Urs Gerber was caught in the jam. As the fire took hold, wheels exploded in the heat and toxic smoke filled the tunnel. J'entends des, des petites euh, cris et puis des petites explosions, mais à ce moment-là, c'était comme, je veux dire, comme, comme un rêve. Alors je voulais, je voulais pas mourir et puis pourtant je sentais que j'arrive plus à respirer comme il faut. Donc. At first, they couldn't find their way through the thick smoke to the escape rooms. Pas plus, donc, parce que c'était seulement la volonté de survivre qui, qui m'a tenu en vie. By chance, one of the group managed to locate an exit. Il, il a ouvert la porte. Et puis, à ce moment-là, c'était clair. Et puis, on était euh, sauvés, on peut dire. Hein. Not all the people caught in the tunnel were as lucky as Gerber. Walter Steiner was tunnel controller on the day of the fire. Es gibt Chauffeure, die sind mit dem Rauch geflüchtet und konnten den Schutzraum noch erreichen. 
Und das haben aber nicht alle geschafft, sondern sie, sind, sie haben den Eingang zum Teil nicht mehr gefunden oder sind zum Teil im Fahrzeug geblieben. Sie sind alle in den ersten zehn Minuten erstickt aufgrund der äh, toxischen Rauchgase. In all, 11 lives were lost. After the tragedy, steps were taken to improve the emergency lighting system, making it easier to find your way through dense black smoke. But shocked that lives were lost despite the state-of-the-art systems already in place, designers now focus their attention on trying to prevent accidents happening in the first place. One innovation was to monitor and control the volume of heavy goods vehicles entering the tunnel at any one time. An automated system was put in place to drip feed a maximum of three trucks per minute into the tunnel. Using a traffic information collector, operators not only monitor the speed of vehicles, they ensure that vehicles are kept apart. Nach diesem Unfall hat man versucht, mit einem System die Lastwagen auseinanderzunehmen, wenig oder größere Abstände zu bilden. Before the accident in 2001, there were 45 vehicle fires in the tunnel every year. Heute mit dem System sind es nur noch zehn, also zehn pro Jahr. The Gotthard team went a step further. They wanted to solve the problem of how to prevent spontaneous combustion of the sort that had caused the catastrophic fire at Mont Blanc. At the Gotthard tunnel, a new technology is being introduced that will combine three-dimensional thermal imaging cameras with the traffic control system. This object you see is car transporter. You can measure this object, you can do everything with it. This is the base for all our applications. The next step is to take a thermal scan and drip it over the 3D object. We see here that it's a hot spot here at the end of the vehicle. Whenever we see, okay, that's the one which we think it's too hot, and then the operator has to react, and he has to go on and has to pick it up uh, out of the traffic. In the Gotthardtunnel there are multiple fires every year. We can reduce this number of fires by 80%. Then we have a huge advantage. Through traffic control and early fire detection, it's believed that the Gotthard Tunnel will be less exposed to another killer fire. In recent years, many of the big tunnel fires resulting in loss of life have been in a road tunnel. Vehicles, and especially large vehicles, trucks and lorries, are travelling bombs, primed with fuel, sometimes carrying highly volatile cargoes, subject to spontaneous combustion and vulnerable to driver error. One answer to some of these issues is to completely replace road with rail. The new Marmaray project in Turkey is a rail tunnel. All freight will be carried by train, not by truck. Two separate tunnels, one in each direction, prevent the risk of the trains colliding. And by eliminating heavy goods vehicles altogether, the tunnel's designers have taken on the lessons of previous disasters. But even train tunnels can be plunged into chaos by major accidents. In 1996, the Channel Tunnel that connects England and France revealed a frightening weakness in its design. It was the most advanced rail tunnel of its type, built as two tubes with a separate